A lot of people talk about the 22 ammunition shortage. Well, the people behind me are doing something about it. I'm in Oxford, Mississippi, and this is the Winchester Ammunition Rimfire Plant. This is a plant that runs three shifts, 24 hours a day, and is very efficient. When it comes to 22 ammunition, billions and billions of rounds are built every year, and a big part of that billions comes from right here. Rimfire ammunition is a volume game. You know, we all expect to go to the store and, and be able to buy a brick of rimfire, and, and additionally, most, most, every, most every shooter out there has a rimfire firearm, so you've got a huge group of customers that are looking for rimfire ammunition on a daily basis, and it's up to companies like us to supply that. Uh, we take that very seriously. We try and build as, as much quality rimfire ammunition as we can. Not having a centralized primer is a real challenge. It, uh, it's what I would call a barrier for entry for, for other manufacturers uh, because it's not easy to take an explosive and spread it into the rim of a shell case like that. So to build a rimfire cartridge, you know, again, it, it varies from one to the next, whether it's a long rifle, long shorts, mags, you know, whatever it is. Uh, it, it's not a true linear process. When, a lot of times when we think about factories, we think about a, an assembly line. And it goes right down the line and every machine's run at the same uh, speed and you know everyone's just putting it together from start to finish. And it's really not that way. You've got a lot of different components coming from different areas of the plants. We have to deal with high explosives, so you have a, a whole other set of rules there that you have to deal with. So it, it's more of a batch process. And it takes a lot of timing because, again, we don't build one product at a time. We're bringing a lot of stuff through simultaneously. Rimfire ammunition starts from a strip. Uh, we take that strip and we form it into the shell case. Uh, we then head that uh, a drawn shell case to build what we would call the, the rim on a rim fire. And, and what's unique about the rim on a rim fire is you have to build that balloon shape, but you also have to leave the proper size cavity inside that balloon where you can put the priming mix that actually initiates the whole process of, of it going bang. The rim fire manufacturing challenges really all come around the, the manufacturing of that rim and building it to the right dimensions so you can put the right amount of priming mix in there so you can have that consistent ignition time after time when the firing pin strikes that rim, ignites the primer, and ignites the powder inside. So in priming, you go in and you put uh, a little nugget gets put into the, uh, into the shell case. From there, the shell case goes into a spinner and it goes down and it basically just spins that priming mix out into the rim of the shell. So when you look at the cutaway of a shell, you can see that there's a green priming mix all the way around the bottom. We do that in rim fire instead of using a primer because it is rim fire, you fire it off of the rim. So if you look at a rim fire uh, uh, rifle, the firing pin is not in the center of the firing pin, it's off to the side of it. And basically what you're doing is you will smash that rim which creates, you know, the friction creates a spark and it ignites that priming mix. Priming mix is then used, same as a primer, to ignite your powder, which drives your pressure and sends the bullet down the barrel. Want to know what's happening at American Rifleman? Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. We'll be right back. Twenty two ammunition is a cartridge that's been around for more than 150 years. This is a cartridge that when you look at it, it shouldn't work at all. But the folks here in Oxford, Mississippi do a great job round for round. When you think rimfire, you think 22 LR, you know, that's what most of us started out shooting. But the technical advances that have come out of rimfire over the last 50 years really have Winchester's name all over them. You go back to the first Magnum rimfire, which was the 22 Win Mag, you know, that's a, that's a product that really pushed the velocity envelope of rimfire. And then we re-upped that with the 17 Win Super Mag, the fastest rimfire on the planet. So, uh, you know, Winchester's always been leading the charge in rimfire development from 22 LR to 22 Win Mag to the new 17 WSM. Over the last five years, I mean, as, as, a, as a market, uh, the rimfire industry has put out tens of billions of rounds. And Winchester is a key player uh, at being a part of that. Uh, we are putting out exponentially more product than we were five years ago. 
Rimfire bullet manufacturing, you know, the majority of our bullets are, are lead bullets, whether we plate them or, or lubricate them to find their way down the barrel. Uh, you know, we swage those bullets in, in multiple different pieces of equipment, but we end up with a finished shape, uh, 36 grain, 40 grain, hollow point, uh, round nose. We build multiple different styles, but all those bullets start from, from a, lead, a lead slug. Uh, we form them into shape, and then uh, we put them together on our loading operation with the shell cases that we've already primed from, from elsewhere in our facility. So once the, the loader round comes out of the loader, you know, we've got it in the big tubs, and here a decision has to be made. Um, a lot of times you'll have the same 36 grain plated bullet, but it goes into to a variety of different types of products. Sometimes for a different price circle. So, you know, we have our, our line of, of bulk packs and basically it's just small, medium and large bulk packs, you know. Another type of product that we use is plastic packs. So we offer 50 and 100 round plastic packs and that's a little higher end type of packaging. The third type, which is kind of a mid-tier uh, price product are paper packs. When you look at our rimfire manufacturing, we're building a lot of rounds every day, but we want every one of those rounds to be exactly what our consumer expects. We want them to be able to put that in their firearm, shoot a nice tight group with it. So, so we might manage our quality control just like we would whether it was centerfire pistol or centerfire rifle. Uh, you know, we watch pressures, we watch velocities, we watch material hardness, we look at diameters. So we're constantly shooting pressure groups, we're constantly shooting accuracy groups. We're making sure that, that, that whether you're buying a, a 50 round plastic pack or a 500 round brick pack or a 555 bulk pack, you're gonna get the same Winchester quality in all of those products. And it really just comes back to our, our commitment to quality control and managing that from our process from start to finish. One of the great things I think about Winchester, uh, we all not only make a full breadth of line for our commercial customers, but we also are fully integrated with law enforcement, with industrial, uh, with the military. And because of that, we gain a lot more experience and we can actually share those, the shared practices or what we learn from one, we use in another. And, and a perfect example of that is with, with the industrial, uh, we're one of the few manufacturers in the world that make 27 cal PAT. And one of our engineers, you know, they were playing around one day and looking at that and they said, you know, we should make a, a, a rimfire commercial cartridge out of that. And we ended up taking that design and there was a lot of changes that went into it to finally get it to work. But we start with that 27 cal shell case and neck it down to a 17 cal bullet. And that's how we were able to come up with the 17 WSM, which, but you know, again, we're driving faster than we ever have with any other rim fire. We're getting a lot higher pressures safely. And, uh, you know, we're able to get center fire performance out of a, a rim fire uh, product. You know, when we look at rim fire, not much has changed with the design of 22 LR over the last hundred years. You know, it's it's pretty standard, but you know we're always pushing the envelope. You know, we've built some new varmint hunting products that, that have some pretty cool bullet technology, where we call it a, a fragmenting varmint HE design that actually fragments on impact for for quick lethal kills on small game. And so it's always fun it, when you look at legacy products like the 22 LR or even the 22 Win Mag now, it's been around for quite some time, putting new bullet technology into older cartridges, sometimes that breathes new life into a cartridge. And, and, and when you can use an older firearm or just something that you know has been in your life for a long time and use it for something new, that, that's pretty exciting to us. That, that drives our development teams, that drives our engineers to come up with, with great new ideas uh, and great new designs. And, and we feel like we do a good job of that here at Winchester. Thank you.